All right, well, let's see. Welcome back to another little video lesson for you. You, th These problems here that I'm going to be working for you are from the problem set uh, that you can find called Alkane's number two, problem set, Alkane's number two. This, I believe, is actually problem number one. So if you find this problem, um, I'm going to go ahead and work this one and a couple of others for you, and then I will actually show you the answers for all the other all the others uh, that are on that sheet. So, so let me get a highlighter. The first thing we're going to want to do is find our parent chain. So remember the longest chain start from any end. So we can see here there's one, two, there's three, four ends to this molecule. So we want to count from all four ends and find the longest chain possible, the longest chain of repeating carbons. Once we do that, we know we found the parent chain and that's going to be the main part of our molecule. That'll be the longest single branch and that'll be the base of the name. So we've got from this direction one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So definitely eight's gonna probably be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So definitely eight. So now I can Highlight here to here to here to here to here. Um, oh, that's pretty bad. Let me try that again. So let's see, from there to there to there and up. That would be one. I also could have, you know, I could have just highlighted straight here as well. It's all the same thing. It doesn't matter. So you can you can see from this carbon that there. If I highlight in this direction, these three would be unhighlighted, just like these three are unhighlighted. So, from this, I know the parent chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the, the long chain is 8. This is all single bonded, so we know the long chain is octane. And we've got to figure out where the primary carbon is. So we want to count from the side that will give us the lowest number possible for all these alkyl groups. So, you know, we can see that, you know, there's an alkyl group here. And this alkyl group is one, two, three, so we know that that is propyl. This alkyl group here is just one. And so we know that that's a methyl. So if we count from here, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, three and five is a lower sequence than four and six, so we know that this would be. Uh, carbon 1, this would have to be carbon 3, 4, and this would have to be 5. So we have a 3-methyl and a 5-propyl. So now we're just going to want to put everything in alphabetical order. So if we put everything in alphabetical order, the final name we would get for this would be M before P. So we've got a 3-methyl, and we're going to bring this 5-propyl down. 5 propyl, and then we have our parent chain octane. So, right there, there is there's our names. So remember, long chain, and then extension, and then Where are the branches, the extensions? And all that gives us that name right there. Let's try another one. Um, let's see. Got this one right here. Let's see. I'm gonna sort of. Take this. I'm just trying to move it up. Uh, no big deal. I'll just move it. Use it the way it, it's. It's all the way down here. It's fine. So let's see here. Let's highlight this again. Let me go to my highlighter. You can see one, two, three, four, five. 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 Five is definitely it. So one, two, three, four, five. And instead of going straight this time, I'm just going to curve it around just to do something a little bit different. 
So we know 5 is the, the long chain, right? So 5 in a row we know is pentane. And so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So no matter which way we start, so you know there's carbon 1, this would be carbon 3. So we have a methyl on 3 and this 2 branch alkyl. Right, we know that this is an ethyl. There's two carbons, and then here is our methyl. So we want to go in alphabetical order. So we know that this right here would be a three methyl, and then right here we know that this would be a three ethyl. So again, E for M, alphabetical. So three ethyl, three methyl. Pentane. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Alright, so remember, long chain extension, where is it at? That is that is the key here. Is to always ask yourself, long chain extension, where is that? So let me, let me go ahead and create some more white space here for us to work on. Um Let's see, let me go to the, this is the actual worksheet itself, where I've been copying things from. That's one I just did. Let's, um, let's, if we work on, if we look, uh, let's, let's work on one of these right here. So let's see, let me go to my rectangular selection tool. I mean, I'm just going to uh, just, oops, let me go to this, sorry. I'm just going to copy this over. Uh, let's see. Let me come down a little bit. All right, let's make this bigger so you can see it. So we've got a 2,2,3 trimethylbutane. All right, well, let's see what we can come up with here. All right, so first things first, butane lets us know the long chain. So we've got, on the long chain, we've got one, two, three, four on the long chain. Trimethyl, so we've got a methyl coming off of two, another one on two, and another one on three. So I can start from this side, and this would be carbon one, this would be carbon two, or I can start from this side, this would be carbon one, this would be carbon two. So we'll just start here, why not? So we know, based on the octet rule, that each of these carbons wants to form up to four bonds. So, looks like we have two of them on two. So let's just start here with carbon one right here. So that would make this right here carbon two, and there's a methyl on two, and a methyl on three. Uh, let me, that'll be consistent as far as drawing the structural formula for you. So then there would be a methyl here. And then, so those are, that's the two and the two. And then the three, there's another methyl right here, right? So we know that there is a methyl here. So that means that each of these that remains has to be a hydrogen. So you just draw your hydrogens in. And once your hydrogens are drawn in, you basically have um, an expanded structural formula, right? And so this gets a little busy. Um, we typically, you know, can do this. So, you know, here's our carbon one, here's carbon two, and then this is what we call carbon three. So if we were to draw a line structure for this, we basically just want... We want to basically look at just the carbons. We want the bare bone basics. So the parent chain, one, two, three, four. So the parent chain we know we have one, two, three, four. So if this is carbon one, which is there, on carbon two there's a methyl. So here would be carbon two with a methyl. And then here would be the other methyl on carbon two. And then here's carbon three. And even though over here I drew it going up, right here, a uh, typical convention is to follow the point. So the two lines here that represent bonds come to this carbon and are 
really kind of going more in this direction than this direction first. So you always typically follow the points and continue following that direction. Um, and then when you have a second one, obviously you go over there. So we can see here, you know, there was carbon arm one, there was our carbon two, and there was our carbon three. If we were to write a condensed formula for this one, well, we can see right here there's a CH3, right? So we've got CH3, then there's a C, and notice there's no hydrogens connected to that, then the CH. So I'm just going to finish the parent chain. We can see that there's a C carbon bonded to a CH, then to a CH3. So there's this CH3, then there's a carbon. We see a carbon and a hydrogen, and then we see that methyl on the very end. On this carbon here, we see that there is a methyl and another methyl. Okay, and now you see how there is, you see how there's this one coming up here. So, see how CH3 is written here? You know, it's, it's going to be a little cramped right here. So one of the things that tends to be done um, is to draw these in such a way where it, it kind of represents the side, uh, how everything would move over to the side. So there would be a carbon here. We could put the CH, you know, the CH3 like this, come up this way, go C. H3 and all of this would match this. You know, here's our carbon one, here's our carbon two, here's our carbon three. I could just as easily had put CH3 right here and then brought this one down. And it essentially is the same thing. It would then it would very much match you know that line structure right there. Okay. Um, for what's 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 let's do the line structure. Uh, let's do the line structure for this one. I know there's some people who could could use that. So right here we know we have one, two, three, four, five on the parent chain. One, two, three, four, five. All right. On the third carbon, one, two, three, we see a methyl. And on third carbon we see an ethyl. So we actually I'm gonna make this one a methyl right there. And right here the ethyl I'm gonna go one two. So you know, here's, uh, let's see, here's carbon one, two, three, carbon one, two, three. On the third carbon, I've got that ethyl coming up. On this third carbon, I have two carbons coming off it. So here's carbon three, one, two. There's our ethyl right there, and there's our methyl right there. Okay. Um, this one right here, let's take a look at the line structure for this. All right. So we've got, we see here, eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's pretty. That's not very nice looking. Let's try this again. Let me try this again. Uh, let's see. How about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Yeah, that's a little better. So on the third carbon, we've got an ethyl. I mean, I'm sorry, a methyl. One, two, and then we got three. And then on the fifth carbon, so there's three, four, five. There is a propyl, so that would be one, two, three. There's one, two, three carbons, so there's the propyl, there's the methyl. Carbon one, three, five. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So let's, if we look at this right here, um, let me, let me copy this one, rectangular selection, and C, and let me get us some, uh, let me get us some white space here, I'm just going to move down real low on the screen, alright, how about, let's we'll go right there, sounds good. A little pixelated, but no big deal. All right, so let's go back to our pen. So he X hexane, we know, is the six carbons in a row, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a little better. So on the second carbon, there are two methyls. So we'll call, the, call this carbon one, one, two. So there is a methyl here, and then there's a second methyl. That's the 2,2-dimethyl. Two, two and then on the third carbon, there's an ethyl. So 1, 2, 3. So I'd go to the third carbon, and I would go 1, 2. And I would go in the opposite direction of this, just because we know if we were to build these things, we would sort of see that uh, they would sort of push away, because there's really a hydrogen here, a hydrogen here, and a hydrogen here. They, so they'd be kind of pushing away. These hydrogens here would, would rotate out. And there's that typical shape that comes from those carbons wanting to form that tetrahedral shape, those angles that are tetrahedral. All right. Um, I think that that's pretty good. No, you should be pretty good to go with that. Let's, um, if we come back to here, uh, let me come, come back up to this. Uh, I'll just name these for you real quick. So if we were to look at this right here, we see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is probably the long chain here, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So the parent chain would be heptane. If we go one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five. So we actually have three and five. So let's take a look at this. If we start from here, it goes one, two, three, four, then five, five. So if we start from here as primary carbon, it would be three, five, five. If we start from here, it would be one, two, three, three, five. So this this one might confuse a couple people. Um, so let me, I'll actually kind of, um, I'll actually select this one, put it on our white on our white screen again. And we'll we'll do something with that. I know that this is another valuable one for for some of you. So Alright, let me make this a little larger for you to see. Okay. So let's go with the uh let's go with the highlighter. So we know that a highlighter, so right here, there's our our long chain. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven we know is heptane. So right here, there's a methyl and a methyl. So if we count from here, one, two, this would be three, four, five, which would make this sequence, counting from here as the primary carbon, it would make this three, three, and a five. If we started from here, one, two, three, four, five, five. And we can see that this sequence is actually greater than that sequence, so we know not to start from this side. So, I've got a three, three, five. So we've got three, three, five. And then all three of those are methyls, so we know the next would have to be trimethyl and then we have our one two three four five six seven heptane and you can see up here on this see how there's a dash there between the methyl and the hexane um, you can put a dash there or not usually right here with this um, you can the dashes are needed usually the dashes are used to separate all the individual components but um, it's perfectly acceptable just to say methyl heptane without without the dash there. All right. Um, that should help as far as naming these. Uh, practice the rest of those. And if you have any questions, we'll take a look at those in class. You can come by during tutoring time, and we'll look at the answer key for that. Hope you enjoyed it.